contact lens wear is safe if you take appropriate precautions so happy contact lens week 17th august to 21st august dear students today we will discuss about the pre fitting assessment of soft contact lenses that means before fitting a contact lens what are the things you must do okay so you need to do a careful refraction okay because that is very very important before prescribing a contact lenses because you need to know whether to prescribe a spherical contact lens or a toric contact lens keratometry for determining the base curve of the contact lens that is very important because for soft contact lens fitting what do you do you take the average k reading convert it into millimeters suppose you are getting 7.80 is the average k reading in millimeters then you can add 0.8 to 1 millimeter to that so the uh, proper base curve of the contact lens should be around some something around 8.6 to 8.8 millimeter okay then you need to do a slit lamp examination so for slit lamp examination what do you do you need to check the ocular adnexa okay the lid you need to check for blepharitis or meibomitis is present or not you need to check the lashes if there are any dandruff or scales or anything indicating blepharitis you need to check the conjunctiva the upper and lower palpebral conjunctiva okay so you need to check for when when uh, you are checking for the conjunctiva upper and lower palpebral you need to check for papillae follicles or any kind of concretions okay you can also do this very properly with the help of cclru grading that is very important cclru grading helps you to grade the uh, ocular adnexa before fitting a soft contact lenses now you need to check the cornea for any kind of abnormalities or inflammation and any uh, you should check for corneal transparency okay then you check for the dry eye examination so let's have a look grossly have a look what you do okay the slit lamp examination of the ocular adnexa you do and then the dry eye examination is very very important before fitting a contact lens so check the tear film height in a slit lamp normal around 1 to 2 mm height is fine it is actually ideal tibat test you do you do nit beauty that is non invasive tibat how do you do that you make the patient sit in the keratometer check the myers uh, adjust the keratometer and clear those myers so once those myers are very clear then you tell the patient to blink okay now put your stopwatch and then tell the patient blink several times and then stop blinking once the patient stops blinking put your stopwatch on so once there is a first appearance of dry spot that means in a keratometer how can you see the dry spot the myers will become distorted so once you find the distorted myers that is your uh, tear film break up time that is your non invasive tear film break up times okay so once you check this for the dry eye then you check for the corneal sensitivity with cotton bud in all four quadrants of the cornea so if the cornea is very sensitive it will be difficult to fit a contact lens and if the contact a cornea is very less sensitive you should not fit a contact lens